There we go. Put your head up. Put your head up. I have one little shadow that's been up with me for about an hour already. She's already had her shower. She's in her princess dress. The others are still sleeping. So we're trying to be quiet not to wake up. Mercedes is going to be a little bit late today. Her little baby Gloria did not sleep well. Let's see what we can see out front. Let's see. There's where the volcano should be. Oh, it's so pretty. My flowers, I need to come out here and cut this grass. That's what I need to do. But I'm going to go to school. I've been writing down the words that the kids learned yesterday. Um, I told you she teaches me something different every time she comes, Miss Gethia. So I learned some A words and some E words. I don't know. Better not leave that wide open. Better leave it just kind of a little open. So let's see what those words are. You want to see what the words are? And then I'll be going to Spanish class this morning. Hopefully Miss Kelly is back in gear this morning. Let's see. Here they are. Here's the words. I had to look them up. Escalera. I knew that one. Um, espejo is a mirror. I thought that was a magnifying glass. Espejo, a mirror. And this one, a sword, la espada, la espada. Okay, then look at this one. I know you guys wanna know some Spanish. Escudo, a shield, like Captain America shield. Escudo, estrella, elefante, and a broom is called la escoba. Okay. And a hedgehog, is El Arizo. That one I don't know. I'm better with the A's. Aguacate. I like that one. Anillo. I like that one. Angel. I like Angel. I like Arco Iris. Abeja y Avión. Y Arbol. I know all those. It's the E's that are kicking my butt. And how do you teach your kids if you don't know them? Okay. There's Araña. A spider. Uh, El Abanico, the fan, the handheld fan. I didn't know that. And El Ancla, Ancla is an anchor. So I have, we got to memorize these by tomorrow afternoon because she's going to do, uh, that's A-E, she's going to do I-O-N-U. And then on Friday, she said she's going to play a board game with them using all of that. So yeah, I got makeup all over my face already. It's early. So anyway, that's what we're working on this morning, doing my little Bible study time, working my way through the Bible in a year. You know, I figure, and I heard him say it this morning, if we put ourselves at the feet of the Lord and open ourselves to his word every day, his word does not go back to him unfulfilled or empty, right? So if we're listening to his word and, and opening our hearts and our minds to his word, just think, we're fulfilling promises throughout our day as they're spoken in the Bible, right? That's the way I look at it. And so I, I know his word will not return to him empty. And I just need to um, open myself to the opportunities that he's presented me through his word every single day. And put everything, as Marla says, in the hands of God, which I try to do. I know we all try to do every day, and a lot of times we fail. So just every day, remember, I need to remember to put everything in the hands of God. And a special hi today to Miss Johnine. Hi, Miss Johnine. And Javada. Hi, Javada. And Jackson. Hi, Jackson. Anyway, good morning, good morning, good morning. As I gather myself the flip up, let's see, there goes a big umbrella. There goes Hat Man. Sorry, I'm flipping this around. Hang on. I don't know how to do the flippy dippy on my phone. There we go. Look, there he goes, hat man. He's got all the hats in the world. Anyway, today 
was day one of class in almost two weeks. There's a reason you go every day and you don't stop. Probably I won't stop next time he comes. I don't think it's um, good for my Spanish soul. I don't know. Like, I feel, um, let me turn this air down. I feel a little um, disheveled. Is that a good word? Is that an English word or a Spanish word? I don't even know. I feel a little disheveled. I feel a little, um, I, I, I really don't know what I feel. It, you know, here's the thing is I enjoyed so much my time when Sergio was here. Um, I enjoyed escaping with him for dates. I enjoyed no class. I enjoyed just being around him. And then he's gone. And of course you saw my video when he left, very sad. And I allow myself the day to be sad, right? But my little spirit has not quite <laughs> jumped back into gear. What the heck is that? I think a lot of it is that I, um, I have gotten into just the routine, the life, you know, all the newness is, is, you know, like in everything in life, the newness goes away and you are, um, marching forward day, day in and day out, doing the things that we all do day in and day out. I'm doing them here. You're doing them wherever you are. Um, and so being here is no different, but on top of that, it's that he's not here. So, you know, the thing is this, that I'm a big chicken and I am not going to go sit in a restaurant by myself. I'm not going to enjoy it. It's not going to be enjoyable. Okay. I'm not going to do it. I can take the kids, but I have to really be, um, psyched up for that because it is hard to take three children to a restaurant not just here anywhere when i was in amarillo it was the same at times i felt energetic enough to corral three children who don't know how to sit down in a booth who scream who fight over the salt shaker that they're not even allowed to use you know blowing their straw paper which i taught them i taught them that sometimes i wonder about myself Anyway, blow in their straw paper, the, the whole nine yards. And then you got to cut their meat times three. You don't enjoy your food. In fact, I ask them to bring the kids food out first, typically, so that I can get them half fed before I get food because I'd like to eat too. I'd like my meal to be warm too. Anyway, it's all those things that I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, I just, I don't enjoy it without Sergio. I, um, I enjoy, I enjoy life. I don't, I, I think I'm saying this wrong. I enjoy life. I enjoy things. I enjoy doing things, but I don't enjoy, um, you know, like walking through a store and perusing. No, not without Sergio. It just isn't the same. I, I'm a bundle of anxious nerves, I guess. I don't know. And I really don't care what's in the store. So then I look as I walk past, like on my way back to the car just now, I'm like, oh, I like those shoes in the, in the doorway. And, oh, I like that little jacket. And, and then I think you should just, I talk to myself, you should just go in there. You should just go in. And I think, why? I don't need it. I don't want it. And when Sergio comes back, I'll go shop. I won't go shop. I'm going to go eat at a restaurant and go sightseeing and enjoy. I'm not going to shop. I don't need those things. In all actuality, I need nothing. So I'm not going to go do it one way or the other. I miss him. I enjoy, I enjoy the, um, I got to turn the air back on. I enjoy, um, the things that we do as a couple, you know, when he's here, I enjoy that. I enjoy getting out as a family because it takes some of the heat and the pressure off of me. Now here's the other piece. It is very warm here right now. You know, we're heading into the summer months, just like anywhere else. Probably not anywhere else, but anywhere else I'm familiar with. And it's warm. I have sat outside for three hours doing Spanish. Sergio doesn't tolerate the sun. Like, he doesn't. 
If we go to a restaurant and there's a light bulb above the table, he unscrews the light bulb. At first I thought it was bizarre um, and that we were gonna get in trouble for unscrewing light bulbs at tables and restaurants in Amarillo or wherever we went. But no, people, they come and try to replace the light bulb and he would tell them, no, I unscrewed it on purpose, it's too hot. That's how hot he gets. So the sun here, he doesn't, doesn't enjoy being outside. I do, but he doesn't. And right now I'm sweltering because I've been outside for three hours in the sun and my poor teacher doesn't do well either. She was like, I could tell she was fading, you know? And we saw her like 10 minutes to go in class and you could tell she was done. And she said, do you wanna? And I said, it's okay. She goes, oh, okay, all right, all right then. And usually she's like, no, we still have 10 minutes. And today she's like, no, we're done. Cause we sat in the sun, like no shade in the sun. So anyway, and I had done so much work in my book that we just went page after page after page, um, making sure that my answers were correct and correcting the ones that weren't. Um, anyway, there's just a lot, a lot to this. And, and I'm gonna say again, for grandparents, raising grandchildren, starting over, for um, those of you that, you know, have, have lived that part of your life and you're starting over, whether you're raising grands or you're raising nieces and nephews or whatever the case, um, do it anyway, go anyway, go live your dreams, do your thing. Don't let my anxiety and my hesitations at times stop you. But the, the other piece of this is I want to document our journey and I want our children to know, and I'm talking about all of our children, but especially these littles, that we put it all on the line. You know, we put everything out there on the line. We left security. Um, I especially left security of home and, um, you know, routine and, and knowing the language and knowing where I am and what's going on and all the things to come here. And we are trying to gear towards retirement in whatever way that looks like. And we're not even sure yet. And so, um, you know, we've, we've changed everything in the, in the, um, belief that this will be a better um, long-term situation for our, our crew, our littles and us. Our big kids, they're doing their thing. They're all talking about doing, you know, we're gonna travel here or move there or whatever. And I can't um, base the rest of my days on what they're doing. I think back to my grandparents. Did they do that? No. No, they didn't. Did my mother? No. Did did my aunts and uncles and you know all? No. You know, at some point, it's time for you to to either sit there and continue doing what you're doing, or you know, go live the life you've dreamed of. Go do it. Okay. So, so I'm saying all that to say that that that's what we're doing. And even though sometimes in my videos, I know a lot of you think, oh, she's not happy. I am happy. I'm extremely happy. I love life here. But is it easy every day? No. Is it a barrel of monkeys every day? No, it's not. It's life, life. And life is not always that way for any of us. So don't let the change in my moods at times be misinterpreted as I'm, um, I'm second guessing or changing the, the plan or no, I'm not. I love it. I'm enjoying life. I think this is great, actually. I just, I have my moments just like we all do. And I also have to say, I think a lot about my grandmother. My grandmother, um, when my granddad passed, my grandmother, though she stayed in the same house, she remodeled it. Like she brought people in and remodeled her house. She um, put in I believe she put in air conditioning at that point because she only had window units. I, like, she changed it up. She went and got contact lenses. I remember thinking, my grandma's so old, and she went and got contact lenses. I couldn't believe it. You know, like, how is she going to learn to stick her finger in her eye? Oh, come on. She was probably my age. And guess what else my grandma did? She learned to drive a car and bought her very first car and got her driver's license. I remember going with her with my mom, and my brothers, my sister, and we went with grandma and bought her first car because she had worked. She got her driver's license, you guys, at this age or older and got her first car and found her way. And she's my inspiration a lot of times. I think of her and I think of the things that she did and changed up as she was this age or older 
and um, you know I don't want to just sit I don't want to just keep doing the things I always did either I mean God, that's boring so I'm gonna keep moving forward even though it's not easy it wasn't easy for her either and she did it and I remember being wowed and I'll be doggone if I'm just gonna sit back and let my grandbaby felt gosh she was just all the time no I'm gonna live life it. come hell or high water no matter how hard it is no matter how trying the day may be um, I'm just gonna keep on plugging forward because it's more fun this is more fun even if I get heartburn or stress or whatever <laughs> it's so much more and so much better than just humdrum so that's what I get to say about that okay so when I'm in class and we're reading um, like the the gray part the gray part that tells okay, uses of the past participle right and she says lay por favor and I'm like okay I can read that so okay it's a B and C I'll read you letter a and then I'll tell you what she does but she does she does this all the time my teacher okay Usos del particip participio pasado se usa como adjetivo cuando está modificando directamente a un sustantivo. Por ejemplo, ella recibió flores envueltas en, el, en un papel muy delicado. And I go on and read B and C the same way. And she says, correct, correct. What's correct? What did I just read? I need a dictionary so that I can understand what I just read. Correct? Of course it's correct. It's in black and white. But I need someone to explain it to me. Please? So here's another one for you. I'm getting serious here. I sit in my car after class and do homework because if I go to the house, I can't focus. And if I go to a restaurant, there's, you know, like no internet. My car has plugs. I can plug in my phone and, <laughs> and I can watch people behind the darkness of my windows. Nobody can see me and I can see them. And the air is going. I'm comfortable. Life is good. Okay, here we go again. Look at all these words, right? Okay, so this one is... Uh, verbos con dos participios regular e irregular okay these are verbs with two participles regular and irregular now mind you she's sweltering my teacher in the heat today so I read that and she's like gort <laughs> I'm like okay I guess I go on so then I read los participios pueden ser usados con los verbos haber ser o estar Un participio irregular es un sustantivo o un adjetivo. And she does this. Correct. 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 Y continúa. Y she, she does this at me. Continúa. Don't do your finger at me. Okay, so then I read the first one. Infinitivo. Atender. Okay, it's the main verb. Infinitivo. I'm getting that now. It's the main verb. You can change it. Change the ending. I got it. Participo regular. Atendido y participo irregular. Atento. So it's atender, atendido y atento. She wanted me to make a sentence. I'm like, huh? what does it mean like what do you mean and so then she she said something and she did it multiple times and she pointed at the middle column and she said whatever she said and then she pointed at the end column and she said something else and she says entiendo and i was like yeah entiendo entiende she said entiendo i said okay yeah, yeah. oh i don't have a clue I don't have a clue and I think it's written all over my face. And I think because she was having a heat stroke, <laughs> she was unable to see the I'm clueless look today because I was like totally clueless. So then she'd do the first word, uh, atender, and she would give me atendido, the past participle regular. And then she'd say, okay, now 
you do one. So I'd mumble a little bit. I, I need to put my mask on. I'm telling you so she can't see what I'm saying. But I need to know, like, that's why I'm taking these classes. Like, I need to know. And she's got her mask on and she's sweltering. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't know. Like, I'm, I gotta go home and study this because I don't understand. What, what is it saying? Why are there two of them? They're not two of them for all the verbs, just these. And why? And when do you use that? And I really don't understand. Like, I need to know this stuff. I would like to have a conversation with someone someday. That would be nice, wouldn't it? A lunch of calamari. And I have um, decided to take my Spanish by the horns. I'm doing it myself, by golly. I am going to continue to go to this class, but yesterday, God gave me a bit of a revelation. You know, after um, I'm being chased by kids this morning, say hi. Hi. Hi, there you go. There's my other two over there. Yeah. Um, anyway, I decided that I would take this bull by the horns and do it my way because, you know, she is, um, she's my instructor, but she has her moods as well. And yesterday we did not get much done. You know, we just didn't get much done. So, um, I, and I didn't like that. I feel like, you know, I want to move forward. I'd like to be able to speak to someone someday. So last night, instead of doing a little snippet of homework, I spent my time doing like 13 pages of homework, trying to get my head wrapped around this so that if I have questions, I'll ask them. And if she wants to teach me those things, that's great. And if we just go over my homework again, that's great too, because I am gonna learn this and I'm gonna figure it out. And um, that's what I'm here, I was thinking yesterday. I came here to learn the language and for me to wait for someone to teach it to me is kind of ridiculous, you know? So, um, yeah, that's the way I'm looking at it now. New attitude, new day. I am off and running. I am going to get this done. Listening to my Bible in a year, and uh, we, we started John today, and wow, wow, so much in there. Anyway, um, you guys have a fantastic morning. I'm going to see what I can get into between now and the time I get to class. Okay. No, no, no fighting, no fighting. So this is what we do in the mornings. At uh, we try before I go to class is to review their Spanish. So I've got one interested person, two interested people, and a very disinterested person. Okay, you ready? Yeah. What letter is at the top of this page? What is this letter? A. a. So all the words on this a. page start with the letter A. Okay. Point to it and tell me. Escudo. Estrella. Where is it? Help me. Estrella. I got it. Okay, what's the next one? Point to one. Esponja. Uh huh. Escu. Esco. Escoja. Oh, that's Eri. The hedgehog is Eri. So. Mom, what do that? Okay, Mama Escoba. Elefante. Elefante. Okay, let's try the back page. Okay, okay. ready? Escalera. Escalera. Espo. Uh -huh. Espe. Uh -huh. Espejo. Espejo. Espa. Jana de Espe. 2007, getting married. Guatemala in 2013. 